feeling a bit untethered today, so forgive me if I have some trouble keeping myself together the next few minutes. So, this will be my last time on this cruddy little family TV show we've done for almost a decade. A decade, can you believe that? My father confided to me recently that he thought the show was too strange and would be canceled within its first six weeks. A damn decade. This isn't quite the glamorous crisscrossing spotlight show business ending I imagined on a bad lighting Zoom call during a pandemic, 2.30 in the afternoon on ESPN2, but it's finally time for me to go to leave ESPN after more than two decades working at the place and after one of the most improbable runs a TV show of any kind has ever had. Seriously, you mean to tell me that my Cuban exile father is gonna flee communism, hand me down nothing less than freedom, and that his oldest son is not only gonna be able to repay his old man's lifelong investment, but the American dream is literally going to be fairy tale funded by Disney. Poppy, my Poppy is gonna do this show on American television in his second language with no real sports expertise for a decade on Miami Beach in retirement. I'm gonna be able to do that for my old man and with my old man, both of us aging right before your eyes, sports connecting us right till the very end. What father wouldn't want that relationship? What son? It's no less than the greatest professional blessing of my life, having been able to share that with him and with you, having been able to share him with you. So if you've been with us since the beginning, you've seen some things grow in this garden that we've tended to so lovingly and so very amateurly. The size of my jackets and my face, the size of Poppy's national and international fame, and the size of my family. Look at this photo at my wedding. Happiest day of my life. This has always been a father-son show, but look at all the love and support surrounding me there. The smartest and most diverse characters you'll find anywhere on sports television. Bomani, Izzy, Sarah, Katie, Mina, Amin, Pablo, Dominique, Elle, Stugatz. Thank you for always falling for Poppy's fake handshakes, for always making the Lebetards look better than they ever deserved, and for being the family I chose. I'm happy to say Highly Questionable will continue with them and without me, and if that's part of my legacy here, I'll always be proud of that. To Eric and Matt, you are forever friends, and thank you for everyone who does and has worked on this show, even you, Lorenzo. Thank you for your tireless care and for always protecting me and my old man. It was hard to let go as it is with things you've always loved. Just know that I will stop and look around on my way out today like you do when moving out of a house where the family memories are, where you raised children and celebrated holidays and laughed until your face hurt. I will be more grateful than sad. I have my own TV show, Poppy. Are you proud of me? Let's see how the, uh, the next uh, 23 minutes go. <laughs> Are you proud? They gave me the show already. Are you proud of me? Well, you know, I'm, I got to wait. Not I got to wait. Not I yet. don't want to commit myself. <laughs> Take my shirt off. No, I did not. I yeah, said you said take my shirt off. Yeah. I got to, I got to relieve that moment. I got to relieve the moment. I got to relieve the moment. Yeah, the show. I got to relieve the moment. Hope to show you, there's nobody like you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me give the final sentimental word to someone who's special to all of us. Vamos, viejo. What do you have for the people? It has been a blessing for the last 10 years to work along, alongside my son, Dan. The most important thing that we like about the show is the fact that it was supposed to be a family show, showing a father-son interaction. I admire and I respect Dan for giving me the opportunity to work alongside him and for making this show a family show. This is something that I will treasure 
on to the day I die. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.